Hey, Mom. Well, I wanted to wish you a happy Independence Day. I hope you guys are all having a good day. And uh, we've got some some air show planes going overhead. They kind of loop around our house and go back to the air show. But uh, it's really cool because uh, if you catch them, they're old biplanes. You know, Dad used to take us to the air shows when we were young. And um, it always brings back those memories whenever I hear these planes on the 4th of July. So, um, anyways, just going to show you a couple of things that are going on. <laughs> and, oops, don't want to step on my plants. <laughs> anyways, I'm going to flip this around now. Yeah. So, <clears throat> you know, uh, I clean this all off. We're letting it dry. I accidentally pulled out this nasturtium. Of course, it wasn't doing too good. And I'm trying to, uh, you know, root it right now. I, I think there's a little root that's coming out. I'm hoping. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, I think I showed you these already. And, of course, I watered this morning. And uh, the one that I had everything in here in. Um, oh, here comes one of the planes. Let's see if we can see it. Nope. I hear it, though. I hear it. Can you hear it in the background? It gets really loud when it comes over here. What? The guy just said... The Hold guy on, Mom. Said, oh, this reminds me of Einstein when he was... <laughs> Anyways, Brett came out to tell me something they had said on the uh, the eating contest, you know, the hot dog eating contest. Anyway, so um, this is not the same one that I originally had these guys in. Um, the original one, I threw it out back because it started leaking. All the other ones are good. They're solid. They're not leaking. But um, so I had to change that one out, that tray. And, uh, you know, a lot of things melted in the hot heat in that old greenhouse. <laughs> I'm distracted because I keep hearing the planes and I just want to see them. <laughs> Anyways, let me show you what I transplanted. I know you enjoyed that uh, You Are My sh Sunshine video. It's a short, so it's not that long. Um, anyways, I got to get these things in the ground. So I know I showed you that I planted my powwow. Oh, look at the little honeybee. Oh, hello, baby. Anyways, I planted my powwow uh, echinacea. And so I went ahead and planted these. These are, let me just grab the tag real quick. Echinacea Butterfly Kisses. Doesn't that sound fun? I think that they got waterlogged in that planter. I need to learn how to not water every single day. They don't need it. Whoops, I'm showing you the grass. They don't need it every single day. Um, I think that's why that one has chlorosis. Uh, chlorosis. So I'm going to put some biotone in there when I planted them so they should uh, perk up. Anyways. Can you hear that plane? I can't see it, but I can hear it. Anyways, look at this bean just taken off. It loves its life right there. Some of the cantaloupes are starting to climb. Not cantaloupes. Cucumbers are starting to climb. Oh, look what Brett did. I'm so excited. This is something he did for me yesterday. And I so appreciate his hard work and effort. So, remember I said I was uh, edging? I was trying to create a buffer between my strawberry patch and this horrible Bermuda grass. And Brett did all of the edging for me. He got everything cleaned out and he finished putting up my um, my little edgers. And he uh, bermed it up with some dirt. We ran out of dirt over here, but that's okay. That's okay, it looks fabulous. He did such a great job. I am so lucky to have him. He's a good, good man. A good, good man. Did I ever show you my old man on the fence? Let me show you. Whoa. Oh, I fell into a hole. 
Look at this guy. Let's see if I can get closer. <clears throat> That's my old man on the fence. <laughs> I think he's cute. I do. Here comes Rose. Every time I'm out here, she's got to supervise. There we go. Look at there. They're just growing so slowly. <laughs> I just want flowers everywhere. I'm going to put the borage right here. One here and one here. I'm going to pull out this dirt and I mean this grass and put them right there. Um, that's going to bring a lot of pollinators to this area, which is going to help in the production of everything I, I got going on here. It might also help with this, excuse me, with the strawberries. I don't know. Anyways, I put my uh, cactus out here because I'm trying to give it a shot at blooming all day. I'm thinking it gets too much shade. And yeah, I pulled a couple of leeks for um, to put in my potatoes yesterday for breakfast. That Globe Master Allium just went back under. It's not even there anymore. I mean, I literally don't even, oh, what is that? Is that the bulb? That can't be the bulb. I put the bulb in the middle. That's gotta be, it's gotta be roots from uh, one of the leeks. This is something that I made for Brett and it is growing crazy growing. Holy crap. And you do not want to touch those. Or they will just embed into your, your skin. It's horrible. Horrible. Um, my snapdragons, I probably should uh, deadhead them and then they'll probably flush out again. I'm not real sure how that works for the snapdragons. I hear one of the planes. Sounds like it's coming my way. I don't see it. I don't know where the air show is. But it's got to be pretty close. I don't see anything in the sky yet. But, uh... You know, every garden you learn a little something. And I learned not to be so impatient with planting and uh, clump planting is not good <laughs> i learned that for sure oh here they come i don't see them let's see nope oh, not too long ago they were right overhead and it was so loud oh my goodness <laughs> so loud oh. anyways I fertilized my tomatoes yesterday with some calcium. So, um, and I also fertilized the zucchini because I don't know what's going on with this guy right here. But it is looking like hell. I'm probably just going to pull it. <coughs> Excuse me. I got to get all this uh, broccoli pulled too. I'm, 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 I'm uh, trying to wait until it has some good seed pods. But, uh, so far, no. <laughs> so, anyways. See, all these potatoes are doing well. Those I, I pulled out of the greenhouse. I just love this little sunflower. Isn't it so pretty? Oh, my goodness. I just can't take it. This is a volunteer. And, uh, I appreciate its its presence in Bella's sunflowers. I don't know if they're ever gonna. Well, we're finally getting heads, but they should be much bigger than this. I think we'll do a second round in the actual backyard and um, you know give it a, a fighting chance. Maybe I'll do it around the edge, the front of the strawberries, give them a little respite from the hot afternoon sun. Ah, ooh, that might be pretty too. Especially if I do the dwarf ones. <gasps> ooh, 
I think I might. I think I might. I really do think I might. What do you think? Let me know, Mom. Or anyone else that's watching. Let me know. I'm thinking maybe I put some uh, sunflower pl plants along here. I do have dwarf sunflower plants. So that might work. And then maybe put some uh, tall ones on this side. I don't know. Maybe the tall ones on this side for the afternoon sun. And the short ones here so they can get the, the easy going morning sun. Anyways. Oh boy. That's a good idea. I really need to cut one of these leaves back. <clears throat> because the watermelon is not really getting enough sun. So, well, it looks like this one finally decided to stay where I put it. Good job. Anyways, I think I'm going to put these in the ground. Honestly, I think I'm overwatering. They don't have good drainage. And uh, that might be part of the problem for the blueberry plants. I just don't know where in the ground they're going to go. <laughs> I got to really think about that. I need to pull a bunch of stuff out. There's just, it's wild. I need to be purposeful in my planting. And this is all seeded, except for what I planted this year. Everything is just reseeded itself, except for also this big ass bush right here. I planted that, it was probably maybe 10 inches tall last year. And now, look at it, just look at it. It's a citronella. And it didn't bloom the first year, but it blooms this year, which is nice. Um, I hear a plane coming, but I don't think it's coming our way. That corn, still nothing. <gasps> Wait a minute, what is that? Never mind. Alright, still nothing. But I'm not giving up yet. <laughs> oh, 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 I can see them. Oh, I can see them up in the air. Hopefully they come over this way. Oh, see them? loop around that's what they've been doing is they kind of come back down this way and yep there they go I don't know if you can see them we'll see them come out of the trees here in a second yep there they go there they go oh they're gonna loop around they're about to come over our head <laughs> how exciting I'm so glad you get to see this. I expect them to be over here soon. I don't see them. Where are they? Oh, here they come. Here they come. Look at them planes go. Oh, babe, you got to see this. That's pretty cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine planes. really cool that was really cool I put that thing out here hoping it'll yeah. it'll uh, start blooming a little earlier <laughs> so anyways that's it mom just wanted to show you what's going on in the garden look at this little honeybee oh oh I love that all right we love you mom and we Independence Day and uh, we'll talk to you later all right Love you. Bye.